we will go the first the match of mix so we go let's go with the presentation first there are cancun waves there are vero birceda from toledo and agustin daniel sancho gutierrez from argentina let's go Against Arkansas Matrix from La Manga, Patti Yaguno, and from Sevilla, Gonzalo Rubio. So I think one of the biggest questions you have to ask is what is the matchup for the mixed competition? And now we have the answer. What do you like uh, for this team from the Arkansas Matrix in terms of putting Patty out alongside Gonzalo? There's going to be a lot of experience in line. I think Patty Yaguno and Salo Rubio are both players with a lot of battles, of battles in their shoulders. But on the other side, we will have a very strong team with Sanjo Gutierrez and Vero Virceda, both of them in the top 15 of the FAP ranking. So once again, if I have to put something in play in this match, it would be with uh, Cancun Waves. Yeah. You mentioned the ranking. It's 15 for Virceda and 10 for Sanyo in terms of where they sit individually. IP rankings. Exactly. Quality players. I mean, Sanyo, we just saw him play. He has a lot of experience. A superstar, former number one in the world. And on the other side, he's going to be sharing the court with Vero Virceda. A very physical player. He's now sharing the tour with Martita Ortega. We're going to see her play also in this tournament. Now time for the official picture. Say cheese, guys. <laughs> a lovely smile. There we go. The waves and the matrix with all to be decided. And we have to see also from the physical point of view um, how Sanjo and Salo Rubio react to play again just after finishing a huge battle. Well, that's a great question. One of my others is, is Perseda uh, a lefty or righty? She is a right-hand player, but she plays in the backhand position. Okay. So the only lefty here is Salo Rubio. Sanjo Gutierrez is going to play on the right side of the court, we said on the backhand position, and on the other side of the net, Salo Rubio, again in the same position on the right side, and Patti Yaguno on I the was, left side. I was curious to see if there were going to be head to head matchups between the women versus the men, line to line, or if it was going to be cross court. It's going to be cross court, which is good because in battle, yeah. you usually play cross, cross court, court, so there's not going to be a huge advantage in terms of smashing and hitting the ball between Sanjo and Patti Yaguno, for example, or like it could be between Salo Rubio and Vero Virza. It's going to be very even, and, and it's interesting to see also how these players, these superstar players, adapt to playing in a mixed doubles match. Chasing ants. <laughs> the warm up is just going to start. Verceda is about 32 years old. She stands at five foot seven. She's from Toledo, Spain. Have yet to see the ladies out on our championship court as you look now to the matchup. There's Veronica on the far right side of your screen. Patti Yanguno playing for the Arkansas Matrix. 39 years Ladies old, standing at five foot six. Currently ranked at that number 17 spot in the world. We'll be playing for the best two or three sets. You talked about her first experience. And by the way, Cam, a match this is only going to be a to one set match. We just mentioned it, but did you say it again? The mixed doubles is only one set. In case Arkansas we reach the six games to six, the tiebreak will be serve. up to ten points and not to seven like it usually happens in a tiebreak. 
That's Salo Rubio. He played a good match in the first against Sanjo Gutierrez and El Loco Torres, especially during the first set, he was amazing. And this is Pati Yaguno. She played with Cata Tenorio in the first matchup against Ana Cortiles and Vero Virceda. They won in straight sets. I'd be curious to know what went well for Patty and Kata in that matchup. I wonder what their strategy was to ask them about that after. It's gonna be interesting to see from the tactical point of view if they're going to choose to go a lot only to one player or just normal. Is that what you would typically see in a mixed match? I know there have been very few. This is one of the premier pieces to the PPL in terms of creating a different and unique opportunity, some different spaces with this team format. It's kind of their prize star, if you will. So I imagine there's going to be some different nuances. It's interesting, yes. I mean, obviously, the speed of the ball is not the same when it comes to men's battle and women's battle. So the combination between both of them is going to, see, to be super interesting. Probably, if you have to attack or smash, you're gonna try to put the lob shot to the women's side. But these players, they are so good, so they can smash also really, really hard. But maybe if you put the ball to Salo Rubio a lot more than to Pati Yaguno, you're gonna be in trouble. Much more than if you do the opposite. So it's interesting, I think back to, we'll take tennis or pickleball, something that you might find mixed doubles competitions in. And it seems as if there's player, there are players that are stronger actually in this format that prefer it, that really enjoy it. I think of like a Jack Sock from the United States. Mm -hmm. He won an Olympic gold medal in mixed doubles for the U.S., but also is an incredible pickleball player, right? As well I've now, heard yes. It. But he was also an, a phenomenal tennis player. Um, but it's so interesting. He's he's so good at mixed doubles, but I feel like it takes a unique personality as well as uh, a unique skill set to really be showcased in an event like this. Let's see how it goes. This is going to be the first experience. There has been some other mixed tournaments, mm -hmm. just amateur, let's say. This is going to be the first professional players. And in some of them, they create some rules to make it even. For example, the Sanjo Gutierrez and Salo Rubio are not going to smash or to be able to smash towards Virceda and Pati Yaguno. That was a rule in those tournaments. So if you hit a smash, you have to go only to your uh, rival in cross court, which in this case would be Sanjo Gutierrez and Salo Rubio. In the PPL, this doesn't happen. So you're free to go wherever you want. And it's going to be super interesting to see for us how this new format goes. You'll have to tell me if you think anyone's letting their foot off the gas pedal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think direction. so. I don't think so either. There's too much money on the line. There is a million dollar on the line. So. This season, a million dollars on the line in the 2024 PPL season. $150,000 up for grabs in the first two events. That's a lot of money. What would you do at $150,000? I would buy a ticket to Los, Los Angeles for the second event. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful hotel. <laughs> I think you already have that ticket bought, right? Well, but uh, VIP somebody ticket does. because I'm watching the VIP and I just want to go there. Sorry, Cam. It's nice being so with you. So you're just not going to uh, work. <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to become a maybe fan. maybe buying a paddle court in my own house. That is a great... I don't have the place, space to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, so you have to buy the property first and then the, the court yeah. set up. So we might need a bit more than 150. I need to win the whole season, the million dollar <laughs> prize to do that. And you? Uh, that's a really good question. A um, I would actually, no, I would actually probably start a business with it. Oh, Something else. Nice. Something that would create more income <laughs> and work on its own. To then buy yeah. a property with a power cord <laughs> inside. That's nice. Exactly. That's fair enough. Yeah, my, my ideal home would be something along the lines of a beach volleyball court, a tennis court, a basketball court, an indoor volleyball court, a paddle court, Good a pickleball court. I got That's a few a things. Perfect A golf course, if I'm lucky, like a little par three. Invite me. Yeah, I need a whole city, apparently. <laughs> me. Give me a season <laughs> ticket to go there. Yeah, you, you need a city. Yeah, and I live in Los Angeles. There's not a whole lot of room for all of those things in one place. I may need like 50 acres out in the middle of that means the, the, second, the second event is going to be really close to you. That is true. You're Very much looking forward dying. to it. You're not going to have a long flight. Nope. But this this has been a fantastic venue for this first event, the Ultra Club here in Miami. 
Now final tactical details for the players. Pero Virceda and Sanjo Gutierrez discussing the strategy. And on the other side of the net, we will have Pati Yaguno and Gonzalo Rubio. Cancun Waves facing Arkansas Madrex to see who takes the first point of this DPL 2024. New outfit for the Madrex. So we're using a red color yeah, in the first match. Now all white and red. and Ru Rubio, both just having come off the court, step back on. A little bit of a longer break for the ladies. Salo Rubio to serve. Good lob shot from Virceda. The block stays in the net. He was trying to do, she was trying to do something similar long. that what uh, Torre was doing, pushing to the net, blocking. First movements from Virceda. Lob from Patty goes long. How often would you say these long. athletes train in a mixed type of practice? They do a lot. They really? do a lot of training. Uh, most of them live in Spain and Barcelona. You have the big centers of Taro, and the big names are there, basically. And uh, in the academies, they usually train with mixed doubles or a women's team facing uh, a man's team. That's also very important, especially for the ladies, because you get Sorry, this baby. pace, this Faster, extra pace. Yeah. So whenever you come to a normal batch, it's easier, let's say. Everything slows down. So it's nothing new. I imagine it's going to be a little easier for Rubio to come across Holy and 15. almost impart his, his presence a bit more, having that lefty. A little tougher for Sanyo to come across as a righty on the right side. And the first game goes game. for Kansas, Kansas Mavericks. First game. Taking the early lead, which is most important than ever because we're only going to play one set. So a slow start for you could be lethal. Short water break. And we'll be moving on to the second game of the match. We've already seen the ladies really utilize that cross-court battle. About half of those points. Arkansas Matrix is going to have a long day today. They will be playing again later on against the New York Atlantics. They're one of just two teams playing twice today. Anyone else? Just did a single match. Good ball from Patti Aguno to the corner. Perfect placement, law 15. It's impressive Love already 15. to watch Patti and her footwork and just how steady she is upon contact. She's completely stopped. She's got a good read on the ball defensively in the corner. And of course, right on that, off the serve. A little it different happens. though. It always happens. But there's that lefty I'm talking oh, about. What Great a block from Virceda. Ah, that was the easier ball. Maybe the other one, this usually happens, right? The, the, the hard ball, you get it, but then the easier one, for some reason, goes just long. So far, the Arkansas Matrix are playing a lot towards Vizeda. We're not seeing a lot from Sanjo Gutierrez. There goes Sanjo, stays short into the net. See, it's so hard for him to cover 15, that far. 40. Towards the middle. And also, it happens that when you're not touching a lot of balls, whenever yeah. you get one, you try to do something different, and that comes with a risk. I wonder if, in terms of 
the future of 30, the QPL, 40. how draft stock might change because of mixed doubles competitions and having a lefty, yep. especially in a situation like this. Yeah, it's an advantage. 30-40, now golden point. The Waves save the couple break points. Now there's one more for Arkansas. First golden point of the match. Fati goes to the net. Glass finder from B to Seda. First break of the set for Rubio Arkansas. and Yaguno. Two games to love. Two games to love. Good start for the Matrix. Good ball, perfect angle from B to say that. Beautiful on the drop, creating some opportunity in the cross court. It's law 15. Let first serve. High lap shot now from Patti Yaguno. Sanyo picking the right moment to step in. Long point. Drop shot from Patti. Birceda goes to the net. Sanyo steps in. Power yeah. hit from B to say that to finish the point. That is what you call working the point. Really like the way Cancun was able to spread the ball around the entire length of the court. That was a beauty. Beautiful slap from Beto B to say that. She is such a physical player, Cam. That is very clear. Got a bit of an Trading issue here. Board. Something with Salo Rubio in his hand, I think. Again, well, I think it's his cramping. His middle uh, finger. Yeah. See his middle finger? He had a problem in the first match. He was going all over the place. Hopefully he's okay. We're gonna see what happens. They're gonna take a minute here. Make sure Rubio is okay. Tengo, tengo un atrapamiento del nervio cubital, es una lesión, es una lesión que tengo. Sí, pero es por una lesión que tengo en el antebrazo, los profesores. Me operaron ahí. Puedes preguntar si hacen neuromodulación. Si hacen neurodinamia, perdón. Joining us right now, we're in a bit of a medical timeout for Gonzalo Rubio. He's having some nerve issues in his hand through his forearm and getting a bit stuck here in this deciding mixed match. 
so our trainers are now attending to him. Make sure he's okay. So, Cam, coming back to the competition, we have 10 teams, each one of them from one city. We added a couple of them compared to the last season. We're going to have five events as now Salo Rubio keeps receiving medical treatment. And the teams are going to be fighting for $1 million. We have a lot of superstars joining the league this season, which is very important. Yeah, actually 80% of the newly signed players are ranked in the top 50 in the world. Breaking them down, several of them coming from Spain, actually about 14, 15 of them. Three from Argentina, a handful from the United States. Right now you're watching a matchup in the gold group. There are two groups that are playing in a round robin format for the first four days. The top two teams from each group will then head off to the semifinals. The winners coming out and having a championship competition on Sunday. Saturday so are, your, are your semifinals. It's very similar, for example, to the NBA, the NHL, NFL, meaning that each city has their own team, but it doesn't mean that the players are only from that city. We have superstar joining, and each uh, and every single franchise has contacted this many superstars to join the team, to fight, and to play for them, and that's what's making this interesting. Good news is that it looks like Gonzalo Rubio is okay. It's good to go. Let's see how he performs after this medical break. Back to the action. It's a love 30 with Patti Yaguno to serve. Don't forget Arkansas coming off of a break as well, up 2-0. Beautiful angle. 15-30. Thank you, Javi. <laughs> Javi Carrasco bringing us some water. Thank you. <laughs> We're getting replenished over here. And you're through the middle. Now the lob shot from Virceda. Yaguno working a lot. There goes Rubio. And fighting for the middle now are the Matrix. 15, 40. A good ball from Vero that with patience. It's a 15 40. Three break points for the Waves. Ah, that's a mistake from Vero that He went for the shot 30, down 40. the line. 30 40. Still a couple break points for the Waves. It's quite a calculated bajada from Rubio. Mm -hmm. We've seen him pretty much attack most of those throughout the day. Oh, well, Yaguno was waiting close to the net, but he missed it. Game. It's break for the Waves. Cancun, now only one game down, 2-1 for the Matrix. Oh, come on. 
Virsela, Sanjo, Yaguno, and Salo Rubio into the court. The Matrix 2 1 up. And this deciding match. Impressive performance from Cancun with the break. Power smash from Salo Rubio. He's back. The monster is back. Law 15. Law 15. actually trying to alternate her shots between the lob and then dropping that with Chiquita. But you need a quality lob shot to do that. Agreed. That was maybe a, a bit short. <laughs> Big hit from Sanjo Gutierrez. 15 on. Using the spin out of the contra pared, the backward boost. Whenever you execute a backward boost, it comes with a spin that makes it easier to smash. Perfect angle from Sanjo. Now he goes for power. Sanjo Gutierrez once again showing so his personality to show up. You also love the court positioning. He sets that up going cross court and then shifts quickly to the middle to be able to go with the attack. from Sanyo. He's going to smash it. But short. That's an easy one. Easy pick up from Salo Rubio. Close to the net. 30 0 The high backhand is impressive. Watch how much pace he can get on this. It's all wrist. It looks easy, Cam, but it's not. It's not. <laughs> Don't try this at home. If you asked a tennis player to hit a high backhand volley, they'd probably scoff at you. <laughs> not the easiest thing. Good momentum. Now from Salo Rubio to make it 30-40 to have a couple break points 30, for our Kansas. It was a duel between Yaguno and Birceda, and when he had a chance, he took it. Out. Second serve. Big hit again. That's again. the most power we've seen from Sanyo. Deuce. Golden point. Also using some luck because the ball bounced in the four meters fence and went straight down. Golden point. Cam, I think the second one of the match. The first one was in the first game. Cancun looking to even the score. There's some win right now. That goes long, good ball. Game. Good job Cancun. from Romero Virceda working with patience, building the point all. and finding the mistake on the other side of the net to make it two games apiece. And I think they're going to have to do that through the continuance of this set. A little bit of patience, especially with that lefty Rubio on the other side of the net. They're going to have to pick and choose their times wisely. We'll say Berceda actually has done a really nice job too with some of those lobs. I don't know if that, but the quick lob over the top of Yanguno has kept the matrix at bay for the last two. Just missing, I jinxed her. 30 love. Second, day, second time today, huh? I know. I need to stop giving out compliments, apparently. <laughs> You have to say, you're so bad, you, <laughs> you cannot play anymore, and then they're going to find a winner. Exactly. Need to say that to the fans. And you're now pushing Salo Rubio to his corner. Sonia with the help. Oh. 
That's in. That goes for Sanjo Gutierrez, classy. Stylish from Sanjo Gutierrez. 30-15. Make it 30-15. Salo Rubio will probably have to play today a couple more matches. That's a great point, especially if he's dealing with that hand that's bugging him. It's actually his left hand. He's the main star of the roster. And finds the feet. 40-15. 40, 15. It makes it so dynamic, the fact that we're only playing to one set, and it's over. And just the first match of the day, six on the day. The other team with two matches, like Arkansas. Florida Colts. Good ball from Patti Yaguno, and Sanjo recognizes it. He says, Que buena Patti, how good Patti that was. 3-2 three three for our Kansas Matrix up in this first and only set. Three games to two for Arkansas. Turn for the Waves to serve. Rubio wants it. Ah, oh, just in. Vicera let it go. She thought it was out, Love but it 15. was in. Like Love the heads 15. up play, though, from Patty. Dropping down. <laughs> Don't hit me, please. <laughs> Again, Rubio down the middle. Good pick up from Sanjo. Sanjo plays cross court. It's a little easier for him to maybe get involved. Now the duel between Yaguno and Virceda. Virceda changes direction. The wind caught that one. Get him an adjustment. Oh, good save from Virceda. Now the power smash from Rubio, but Virceda saves it. Light touches from Veronica. Point Cancun. That was brilliant from San. You're waiting for the exact moment, but also the movement from Virceda was really nice. 
So the corner, Sanjo, he's won so many points in his career with that backhand volley. 30-15 now. 30-15. So important for Sanjo and Rubio to find the perfect moment to step in. Chiquita from Rubio. Good read from Virceda, but even better stuff from Yaguno. celebrating along Rubio. Right now, he's doing so much work having to move more laterally than any of the other athletes out on the court. He's taking pretty much every lob coming the direction of Patty. Good serve from Sanjo. Oh, oh. nearly comes away. He just tried to steal it. 40-30. 40-30. From Sanjo Gutierrez. Game. Delicate Cancun. yet effective. Three games Everyone old. thought he was going to hit it hard. Even me, to be honest. <laughs> he plays it to perfection with the baseline really close to the glass wall. Look at that. Soft touch. This match already exceeding about three hours in terms of all matches having been played, the men's, women's, and now into mixed. And 15 have love. Six matches today, so if we go three hours each, well, <laughs> you do the math. Grab a pillowcase <laughs> and a sleepy bag. Join us on air. 15 all. 30 love. 30 love. Correction. For the matrix. Attacking that 30, side of Rubio. I just love the way how Sanyo talks to himself. Whenever he does something good, he says, Bien, Daniel. Good move, Daniel, to himself. We call that positive self talk. I just love it. <laughs> Picking two up from her shoelaces. Sanya tries to come flying across. 40-15. Good finish from Salo Rubio to make it 40-15. A chance to take the lead once again and to put a lot of pressure to the waves. Now Sanjo, right the same game face mask, this time stay short into the net. Game for the Matrix, 4-3. Four three. Three. This unique set. Please. cuando Vero te tira el rubro, el rubro eso de mierda, siempre vuelve. O sea, no le tires chiquito, le tiras otro globo o la una. Porque se te viene, no se te queda tibia. No, no. Ahí le levantas. 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 Le levant
No, no, Gonzalo. Se necesita que te quiera poner. Yo prefiero que tu mamá me vaya a... Sí, pero... No reta, que sí va a ir, papá. Si hay que dar contra, ninguna puedo robar tu papá. Si te va de acá, te da rebote, yo ya no me puedo cruzar porque me la pone para leer. Porque soy un moco. Sí, pero no importa, me la pone. Me la pone contra y me va a pegar. Sí. Ya ves la paralela de esas otras cosas. No, agárrame, agárrame así, estoy aquí. Vamos, vamos. Pero muchos tiempos, ¿eh? ¿Cambio? Time. Back to the court. First point goes for the Waves. 15, 15 long. long. Brilliant shot from Patty. Even better lob shot from Birceda. That was a perfect lob shot from Birceda. 30 love. 30 love. We had two tiebreakers in the first match. <laughs> it, looks six, like we're gonna, <laughs> it looks like we're going to have another one here. Uh. It's super tight. I think the players are going to learn how to play with each other throughout the week. Yeah, I imagine the level of mixed match is going to continue to increase just in terms of partnerships and nuances, knowing where each athlete's going to be standing. I wonder, too, if we'll see different mixed lineups. 30, 15. Even men's and women's lineups could shift and vary depending on the matchup. It's 30, 15 now for the Waves. Big hit from Birceda, sends the ball out of the court for tres. And her 40, team sure 50. loves it here on the sidelines. Each team can be comprised of about 12 players. That's the total allotment for roster selection. Eight of those can be international athletes. It was an increase from last year's roster, which sat at 10. 40, 15. Chance to make it for all. Again, another one, another por tres from Yeseda. My goodness. Back to back, Game her arm is on one. fire. There she is, Vero Yeseda. Four games old. Four games apiece. Each team with their own break, but those came in the early stages of this set. It's been four straight holds. Sanyo hit a little bit of a flatter ball actually off the glass rather than having tons of that backspin on the slice. 15 love. And the point goes to the Matrix. Oh, what a return from Birceda. Fighting that one off the fence and that one off the carpet. It's pretty for me to say that. Oh, she had to hit just it about was my every time now. contact. I'm tired for her. Yeah. <laughs> so my time to jinx, it, to jinx it. She was doing perfectly. Spinning around, Sanju in defense. What a block from Birceda. She, she goes to the other wheels. side of the court. But this is going to be an easy one for Salo Rubio. The touch from Birceda. No, 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 no way. There is no way 
She's saving absolutely everything. Now Shango oh. with a mistake. That was brutal from Vero Virceda. One save after another. Just an absolute defensive wonder. Some of those half volleys, just unbelievable touch. She was amazing at that point. There's a reason why alongside Marta Ortega, they are top four as a pair in the world. And it's a game now for the Matrix. Five to four. After this break, they will have a chance to close the deal with the Waves to serve. Cam, we started around 8.30 a.m. Now it's 11.30. Three hours have gone past. And it's time to decide who will take the first point of this PPL 2024. <laughs> Behind the line, Sanyo. Easy oh. one for what? Salo what? Rubio. Long 15. All over it. So fast. Perfect movement. Yaguno going out of the court. And Salo Rubio staying close to the net in case it doesn't go out. <laughs> Big hit from Virceda. Yaguno was there to save oh. it. <laughs> Pati Yaguno. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Rubio bowing Love down to her after that. Love 30. They are only two points away of the victory. And it's going to be a second serve for Sanyo. Now Cancun with the advantage. Another big hit from Virceda. Short for Salo Rubio. It's point for Arkansas. La 40 Long and we have four match points. That Look back at the last point. It was brilliant. And then the smash from Rubio. <laughs> Using the side will Sanyo. Good save from Virceda. The Arkansas won it. The Arkansas have it. Game, Game set and match set for the Arkansas Matrix by six games to four. Six A win for Yaguno four. and Salo Rubio and the first point of the PPL 2024 for Arkansas Cam. So impressive to watch the Arkansas Matrix come away with the win after the mixed matchup. Everyone's getting high fives, but there's no doubt about it. Somebody deserves an extra high five on the Matrix team, and that is Rubio and what he's been able to put together. They dropped the men's match, then they picked up the women's match, and it came down to this last and final. Patty 
was just on point. Great control and great setups for a partner. MVP? Patty? Ooh, that's tough. I'll go with Patty. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. I also think they played really well as a tandem. They understood each other's roles. Patty setting up beautifully. And that point in the last game, going out of the court, putting it just close to the net, I think it was the key and the clutch point to win to get the, the final victory in this first matchup. We will be in just a few seconds with the winners of this second match, the mixed doubles match. And after that, don't go away because we have a lot of paddle to go to play. The San Diego Stingrays facing the Florida Goats in the second match up of the journey of this first day here in Miami, in Florida camp. Still so much to be played. And again, the Matrix have a second match. That will be our fourth match of the day. We'll face I off against the New York Atlantics. Yep, I'm double checking if we have the lineups for the second matchup. Between the Florida Goats and the San Diego Stingrays. While we're waiting for the winners. So for the Sting Race, we will have Miguel Lamperti and Maxi Sanchez. A lot of experience facing Lucia. Uh, um, sorry, in the women's side, we will have Lucia Sainz and Brittany Dobbins. While for the flow, we will have Lima and Ruiz, as well as the number one, Ari Sanchez and Osoro. So the first time we will enjoy one number one stepping into the PPL court. Something's happening, I think, Cam. 